what's up you guys welcome back to exploring with india today today you guys we have some more star trek you guys this one is motion a picture and i do believe this is the first movie that ever came out correct your girl down in the comments i could have looked it up wrong but it is a throwback and you guys asked for a throwback because i played a recent video you guys i think it was 2009 oh jeez is it 2008 it's the recent one it wasn't the old school one. And you guys asked for the old school one so I can get my full background story on it, you guys. And I'm with it, I'm with it, I'm with it. So this movie was released December 6, 1979, directed by Robert Wise. The budget was $35 million. The box office, it made $139 Ah, made $139 million. Okay, let's see it through your favorite homegirl's eyes and let's explore more Star Trek. Go. Now, the other one was badass, but we're going to see how y'all did it old school, okay? <laughs> Ooh. Give it the spaceship more detail. Yeah. Enormous power field surrounding alien vessel. Our sensor scans unable to penetrate. Imperial Klingon cruiser Amar continuing to attack. Within Klingon boundaries, who are they fighting? Unknown, sir. Close to us. Heading? Sir, it's on a precise heading for Earth. Oh, that's not good. That is Sonic, you received your appointment as Enterprise Science Officer? Based, I am told, on your recommendation, Admiral. Thank you. Then why aren't you aboard? Captain Decker requested our complete final science briefing here before we leave on our mission. At Starfleet. Just look at the lobby. This is, like, so different. Report to me on the Enterprise in one hour. Report to you, sir. It is my intention to be on that ship following that meeting. We have just finished 18 months redesigning and refitting the Enterprise. How in the name of hell do they expect me to have a ready in 12 hours? The only starship in interception range is the Enterprise. Ready or not, she launches in 12 hours. Ooh. Means you have your hands full, but you must get it done. Oh. They gave her back to me, Scotty. Gave her back, sir? I doubt it was that easy with Nagura. You're right. <laughs> She'll be ready. So I like to hear back in. Yeah, way more detail. Bond secure. Thank you, Mr. Scott. Aye, right, sir. Bridge. Where's Captain Decker? He's in the engineering, sir. Oh, the main station, Dr. Cho, is port and starboard. 
Hello, sir. Let's talk. I'm taking over the center seat, Will. You what? I'm replacing you as captain of the Enterprise. You'll stay on as executive officer. Temporary grade reduction to commander. My familiarity with the Enterprise, it's crew. Admiral, this is an almost totally new Enterprise. You don't know her a tenth as well as I do. That's why you're staying aboard. Uh-oh. I remember when you recommended me for this command. You told me how envious you were and how much you hoped you'd find a way to get a Starship command again. Well, sir. Got it. It looks like you found a way. Ooh, he's not happy. Transporter room, come in, urgent. Red line on the transporter, Mr. Scott. Transporter, do not engage. It's too do late. Not. We're beaming now. If they don't make it, what does that mean? They die? Excuse me. More signal. They're losing their pattern. Oh. Starfleet, do you have them? Enterprise, what we got back didn't live long, fortunately. Oh, gosh, that's so freaky. There was nothing you could have done, Ram. It wasn't your fault. I'd still like a Vulcan there, possibly. None available, Captain. In fact, there's no one who's fully rated on this design. You are, Mr. Decker. I'm afraid you're going to have to double as science officer. <laughs> Except that it is now 53.4 hours away from Earth. Mm. Gonna get that ass. Enterprise is the only Federation starship that stands in its way. We assume that there is a vessel of some type at the heart of the clouds. Bridge to Captain. Yeah, but it must be something incredible inside their generator, sir. <laughs> Receiving an odd pattern now. Enterprise, they could be mistaking our scans as a hostile act. Seem to be reacting to our scans. Deflectors, emergency flare. Oh, shh. Is that safe? <laughs> they know what they're dealing with now. Ugh. You're off. You are off. Do that shit off. Launch countdown will commence in 40 minutes. Lieutenant Ilya, reporting for duty, sir. Welcome aboard, Lieutenant. Hello, Ilya. Decker. I thought she was a I was stationed on the lieutenant's home planet some years ago. Commander Decker? Yes, our exec and science officer. Captain Kirk has the utmost confidence in me. For a man who swore he'd never return to the Starfleet. Just a moment, Captain, sir. Reserve activation clause. In simpler language, Captain, they drafted me. Oh. Damn it, Bones. I need you. Badly. We need you. Well, Jim, I hear Chapel's an MD now. Yes, sir. Orbital departure on plot, sir. Yard command signaling clear, sir. Take us out. Leaving the solar system will bring us to IP with the intruder in 20.1 hours. Everything is ready. It's borderline on the simulator, Captain. I cannot guarantee that she'll hold up. What the heck? Those power. Subspace frequencies jam, sir. Before forward velocity slows the satellite speed. Unidentified small object. Has been put into the wormhole with that captain directly ahead. Time to impact. We're out of it. It was the engine imbalance that created the wormhole in the first place. That object is less than two days away from Earth. We need to intercept while it still is out there. No time to waste? When they went into antimatter imbalance, the phasers were automatically cut off. You saved the ship. I'm aware of that, sir. Stop competing with me, Decker. How could you blame him, though? He was supposed to be in your position right now, you know? Hmm, that's only normal. <laughs> I think. 
permission to speak freely, sir? Granted. Sir, you haven't logged a single star hour in two and a half years. That plus your unfamiliarity with the ship's redesign, in my opinion, sir, seriously jeopardizes this mission. Shots fired. Commander. Yes, Doctor. Aye, sir. You may be right, Jim. I'm sorry. Aww. That you left Delta IV? Or that you didn't even say goodbye? Oh, she's not having it. Signal from a Federation-registered long-range shuttle, sir. She wishes to come alongside and lock on. Mm. Your opinion has been noted. Anything further? Hmm? That depends on you. Permission to come aboard, sir. Grant it, sir. Grant. Why? Why, it's Mr. Spock. I knew it was Spock. Commander, if I may. It... Oh. So they look up to Spock, right? I'm aware of your engine design difficulties. I offer my services as science officer. Mr. Spock. Well, so help me, I'm actually pleased to see you. He's not. For permission, I will now discuss these fuel equations with the engineer. Time, less than three hours. Which means we will now be able to intercept Intruder while still more than a day from Earth. It's as warm and sociable as ever. No, have you, Doctor. As your continued predilection for irrelevancy demonstrates. Gentlemen, will you please sit down? It makes him a nervous. Lucky for you that we just happen to be heading your way. Bones. We need him. Is there anything else? No. If this superintelligence is as important to him as he says it is, how do we know that he wouldn't put his own interests ahead of the ships? I could never believe that. Bridge to officer's lounge. Captain Kirk, revised estimate on cloud visual contact, 3.7 minutes. Cloud composition, Mr. Spock. 12 power energy field. 12 power? Captain, we've seen what their weapons can do. Shouldn't we take every possible precaution? Mr. Decker. Captain, I suspect there's an object. Is the captain going too far? Measures 12 power energy? Thousands of starships couldn't generate that much. Mr. Spock? I sense puzzlement. We have been contacted. Why have we not replied? Contacted? How? Deflector power is down 70%. Impact in 20 seconds. Spock. Where'd he go? Mr. Decker? I advise caution, Captain. We can't withstand another attack. That thing is 20 hours away from Earth. We know nothing about it as yet. Precisely the point, Captain. We don't know what it'll do. Navigator, maintain course. Helmsman? Steady as she goes. He's calling the shots. Yeah, that will look creepy just going into it. <laughs> Hypnotized. It's risk fluctuating, Captain. Patterns unrecognizable. Unable to make contact with Starfleet, Captain. Any attempt to transmit out of the cloud is being reflected back. Reduce magnification factor four, Mr. Sulu. At 500 meters. 500 meters? Man, they just keep questioning him. The 100 kilometers distance, adjusting parallel course. Viewer astern. Reverse angle on the view, Captain. This is the job you signed up for. Energy combination. 
Don't interfere with it. Close your eyes. Run. It's taking control of the computer. How are you still touching it? It's not hurting you. Free, Captain. Chief DeBalco, take over Lieutenant Ilea's station. Scotty, drive system should be free now. Command. Ready to launch remote communications drone with complete ship's records, including our present situation. Insatiable curiosity. So we have to go through it. But they can't expect us not to look them over now. Now that we're looking down their throat. Right, now that we got them just where they want us. Yeah. Captain. Uh, deck five, Captain. Uh, Officer's uh, quarters. Have security meet me at deck five, main elevator. Four, zero degrees. It's her again? Temperature leveling. They zapped you. Infecting USS Enterprise. Holding at 37.65 degrees. Who is Viger? Vija is that which programmed me. So now she is a robot. Where is Lieutenant Ilea? That unit no longer functions. I've been given its form to more readily communicate with the carbon-based unit. We have to find the creator? Who the creator? What does Vija want with the creator? To join with him. Vija is that which seeks the creator. I'm programmed to observe and record. And molecule size multiprocessor chips. The real Ilea's memory patterns are duplicated with equal precision. They have a pattern to follow with our captor is that probe. If we can control it, persuade it, use it. Oh, she busted out. Decker unit can assist you with much greater efficiency. Captain's log, stardate 7414.1. Our best estimates place us some four hours from Earth. More data concerning this functioning is necessary before carbon units can be patterned for data storage. Within you are the memory patterns of a certain carbon unit. If I can help you to revive those patterns, you could understand our functions better. Kirk, these messages will detail my attempt to contact the aliens. Is he outside the ship? What the total spark? Seconds and may not be aborted. He's going in there, you guys. This cannot be good. To coincide with the opening of the Beecher orifice, this should facilitate a better view of the interior of the alien spacecraft. Should have known. Were you right about Vija? A life form of its own. Vija has knowledge that spans this universe. This simple feeling is beyond Vija's comprehension. Yes, Captain, a child, evolving, learning, searching, instinctively needing. Needing what? Spock, this child is about to wipe out every living thing on Earth. 
Now, what do you suggest we do? Spank it. He said, I'll be the daddy. It knows only that it needs, Commander. But like so many of us, it does not know what. Information the feature requires will also be destroyed. It is illogical to withhold required information. Kirk unit. Kirk unit. Feature will comply if the carbon units will disclose the information. Put to feature. Direct. Directly? You want the middle? Captain, I believe that is our destination. Yeah, we have to leave. The carbon units will now provide Vizio with the required information. No, we won't. I'd like to go along. You're second in command, aren't you? Mr. Sulu, you have the call. Is that it? They're doing all the destruction. National Aeronautics and Space Administration. Captain. Voyager 6 disappeared into what they used to call a black hole. They discovered a simple 20th century program. They built this entire vessel so that Voyager could actually fulfill its programming. Are the creator. That is not logical. Carbon units are not true life forms. We will prove it. We will make it possible for you to complete your programming. Voyager is not transmitting its data, Captain. The creator must join with Vija. At this point, fuck Vija. <laughs> Vija must evolve. Its knowledge has reached the limits of this universe, and it must evolve. What Vija needs in order to evolve is a human quality. Our capacity to leap beyond logic. Let's find out. Did we just see the beginning of a new life form? Yes, Captain. We witnessed a birth. Possibly a next step in our evolution. The drive that compels us to overcome. And a lot of foolish human emotions, right, Mr. Spunk? Quite true, Doctor. Unfortunately, it will have to deal with them as well. List them as missing. Missing. Vessel status fully operational. Aye, sir. Mr. Sulu, ahead warp one. Warp one, sir. Heading, sir. Out there. That away. That's um, how the last one ended, too. Not just go out there, but it ended somewhere, like, out there, you know? Let's explore more. Let's, you know, what else can we save, you know? It's just in adventure mode, you know, in space. Like, like I said, if you guys have been following me, you know I love my galaxies. I love my space. Star Trek is like something new. And, um, I didn't, I didn't finish it though. So if you guys want to finish it, let me know down in the comments. I will, I will. As long as you guys will watch. But, but I've seen you guys showing Star Trek love. So I thought, you know, I listen to you guys and go back with a throwback of Star Trek. And this one is motion pictures. Um, I definitely felt like I liked the other one, the newer one more, but this stuff, in my opinion, how I felt about this one, it was way more detailed. With the spaceship, with the outer space, like just so many more details. I, I liked it this one, but I felt like I liked the other one more because it showed the villains, like it showed all that, you guys. 
Um, this one was more of like a machine taking over. I do believe the object that crashes course with Earth. So they have to go investigate, discovering, ISIS strike. Like it was, it was a lot going on here. The attacks the crew. It came inside the spaceship. Like it was a lot going on. And for this to come out in 1979, it wasn't too bad. You know, in my opinion, it wasn't too bad. It wasn't. But of course, you guys let me know how you guys feel about Star Trek, the best one, your least favorite one, the ones you guys want me to get to next, which ones you guys want me to do next, um, and your girl definitely will keep exploring them. Thank you guys for showing me love. Thank you guys for tuning back in and watching this with me.